Hey guys, what's up? It's Alaric from AppFind on AppleWisdom.com here. And uh, what we have is we're going to be showing you guys how to get the iOS 5, which just came out at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and 10 a.m. Pacific uh, Daylight Time. And what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be checking this out. First, what you need is iTunes 10.5. So if you don't have that yet, go to iTunes.com. Click on this download page. Take a second to register. Then you're gonna, it's going to show up over here. Download iTunes now. You can put it in your email address if you want. You click download now. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to open up iTunes. And once again, don't forget to go to applewisdom.com. That's wisdom with a Z to check out more cool tips about the iOS 5. More videos coming soon on App Find. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to go over to the iPod Touch area. And you're going to click check for update, which is right here. All right. 5.0 is here. So you're going to download and upgrade. What it's going to do is it's going to delete all of your media. So you got to make sure that um, you sync your music, videos, and photos. You're going to hit update. It's going to start to update. Now, through the magic of editing, we're going to make this go a little faster. So I'll be right back in a couple seconds, guys. All right, what you got to press next is it's going to pop up with the licensed software. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Hit next. Now, what you're going to do is you can read this if you want. I don't know how many people actually read this. You hit agree. And, um, yeah, so now it's going to be downloading it. It says it's going to take about 90 minutes. I highly doubt that. Um, however long it takes, though, we'll be right back once it's started uh, <laughs> finishing downloading. All right, see you guys. Bye. When your download's done, you're just going to let it sync to your computer. Then you'll have the full file download. Now remember, the download will take a little while, all right? It could take an hour or depending on your internet connection, it could be faster than that. Um, but when you're done, sync it to your iPod and then you'll have iOS 5 installed. Now I'm going to have a tutorial video on everything about iOS 5 coming out a little later today, so stay tuned for that. See you guys later. I'm Alec from AppFind. Bye.